Well, Adam Handling is a, an inspiring young chef. He's well known, uh, and a lot of younger people will, I think, relate to him. So that to have a chef like that coming on to Food Standard Scotland stand and saying that for him as a chef, the really important thing is the taste, the quality of the food, but but it also has to be safe. Yes, I mean, I think uh, we have to create our own brand. We have to create our own trust with the public and that will take a little while. We have to build that up. But we also have to have a recognition factor. People have to understand that when they see that logo, that means it's Food Standard Scotland. So the opportunity of having a brand new stand, albeit that we've been here for many, many years, we've completely refurbished the stand. And the object is that to get a better recognition factor. We've got lots of interactive uh, messages on our stand, directly aimed at younger people, the other people of the future, the other people we want to connect with, and we're delighted to have that opportunity. It's the people, it's the people that make the Royal Highland Show, and since Food Standard Scotland is a consumer-facing organisation, it is absolutely vital that we come to a show like this and that we interact with the very people um, that we are there to protect in terms of food standards and food safety. Well, I think what we learned was that, that people make assumptions about safety and food, and they don't quite understand the important role that they play uh, when they are, are cooking food. So these figures demonstrated that people who are using barbecues didn't understand that it was important, for example, to clean utensils that have been dealing with raw meat before you dealt with cooked meat. They didn't seem to understand that the person actually handling the produce and preparing the barbecue, that they too, they may have washed their hands when they started the process, but do they understand that they could, they could quite innocently be passing on infection by failing to clean their hands after they have handled the produce. But I don't think we quite understand the risks we run by not paying proper attention to cleanliness and hygiene.